Hi everyone, greetings from Source Fabric headquarters here in Prague. My name is Greg and I work for Source Fabric, Europe's largest developer of open source software for the news media. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Airtime Pro, our cloud-based internet radio broadcasting platform, and explain our competitive advantage in the market, as well as what's coming up in terms of development. After that, you'll have a chance to see a couple more short videos about how easy it is to set up the station and get on air super quickly, and how you can use Airtime Pro and a smartphone to live broadcast from the streets. So let's get going. Once you set up your station, you'll get your little home on the internet, a radio page. This will spare you the hassle of creating your own website. One of the things that we're really proud of is the Airtime Pro's user management. Station admins have the ability to assign user roles and various permissions for people to access your station. This is often desired by more professional clients and bigger stations in general. Right now, an Airtime Pro station can be set up with the following roles. Guest users, DJs, program managers, and admins with preset permissions. We plan to further extend this feature by allowing station admins to customize user roles with particular permissions. Airtime Pro can be used for live broadcasting in combination with different third-party tools. We'll talk more about that later in a short tutorial at the end of this video. But one neat feature to mention now, and it's related to user roles, I'm talking about the secure live broadcasting connection, which allows only assigned users, DJs, or guests to go live during an assigned show, instead of having full access to your station. In Airtime Pro, only users with the role of admin or program managers can assign the control of shows over to DJs. Assigning control of a show allows the specified user or guest to connect to the show source or schedule content for that show. The next cool feature we're offering are multiple streams and the interesting ways they can be used. The Airtime Pro Starter and Plus packages come with two streams, and the Premium package comes with three streams. Each Airtime Pro station has one audio output, but the multiple streams allow you to offer different options. For example, many stations find it useful to offer streams that broadcast at different bit rates. Lower bit rates stream for mobile users or others on poor internet connections, and higher quality streams for listeners on faster, stable internet connections. Or you can set each stream to a different format. For example, set one to MP3 and set another to AAC, this could be useful if you're using Airtime Pro in conjunction with other programs that require specific input formats. Another common use of multiple streams is to set up the second stream as a fallback in case the first stream fills with listener slots. You can also set one stream up to your website and one to your mobile app or other sources. So it is easy to measure where your listeners are coming from on your Airtime Pro analytics page. Next on the list is geoblocking. Airtime Pro lets you restrict access to your stream based on your listener's location. You can use it in a few different ways, but to put it simply, you can either allow or block listeners from particular countries. Airtime Pro automation, called Smart Blocks and Rotations, is also something we're very proud of. Smart Blocks are organizational units used similarly to playlists, which are obviously available as well, but Smart Blocks are much more powerful. There are certain criteria from which you can choose, such as BPM, genre, label, or many others, from which the content of the blocks will be generated. There are two different types of smart blocks in Airtime Pro, static and dynamic. A static smart block will save the criteria and generate the block content immediately. A dynamic smart block will only save the criteria. The block content will then get generated when you add it to a show. Each time you use it in a show, it will generate fresh playlists using the rules that you set up. Rotations are another way to further improve automatic scheduling. A rotation is basically a repeating playlist that automatically pulls content from your library to fill shows with tracks. Shows using rotations will be filled with tracks an hour before they start, so they can automatically include your latest uploads. Better still, rotations can be combined with smart blocks to automatically schedule your latest uploads or podcasts. Worth mentioning here is also the auto DJ mode. When enabled, Auto DJ will automatically create shows from your favorite rotation or fill up any incomplete shows. If you're more into podcasting than broadcasting, no problem. Part of the radio page is a podcast page. You can simply publish any track in your media library as a podcast and then add it to your podcast page. These tracks will obviously be available for on-demand streaming. You can also import content from external sources automatically using RSS feeds. 
if you subscribe your station to an external podcast, like regular news announcements, for example, it will automatically import new episodes. Combine this with smart blocks and rotations, and you'll be able to schedule this content in your shows without even touching it. Another great feature is Airtime Pro's API, which enables plenty of possibilities for apps, widgets, and website building. Last but not least on this short list of features are integrations with social media and other platforms. In Airtime Pro, you can set up auto-tweeting and easily integrate with SoundCloud and TuneIn. That's it, guys. Thanks for listening. For more, please come and visit our website at airtime.pro. And if you want to try it yourself, please do. We offer a seven-day free trial. Thanks very much for watching, and happy broadcasting. Hi, I'm Greg from Source Fabric, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can become a street reporter using your phone in Airtime Pro. At the end of this video, we'll head into the streets of Prague, where we did a behind-the-scenes report of the Prague Christmas Market to show you how this works. But before we can leave the studio, we need to take care of a few logistics. First, we need to set up our Airtime Pro Internet Radio Station. If you have a station already, log in. If you need one, go to airtime.pro and register for your free trial. You won't need a credit card during the trial period, and the great news is that all of the features in this tutorial are included in the trial instance of your station. To make it even easier, we've created a video that shows you how to get on air with Airtime Pro in under two minutes. Now that you have a station, live broadcasting from the street is a snap. All you need to do is set up your station following these easy steps. Let's open our test station in the Airtime Pro interface. Once inside the navigation pane, click on Settings, then Streams. Under the Live Broadcasting section, check the box that says Auto Switch to Live DJ. By clicking this box, you'll enable anyone with credentials, a mobile phone, and a live streaming app to live broadcast to your station. In other words, what this feature allows you to do is turn your friends and colleagues into roving reporters and to bring live mobile broadcasts to your listeners. Here's how to do it. Once you have the box checked, you need to set up your live broadcasting app. For this demo, we've used the CoolMic app for Android. There are other apps that can be used on both Android and iOS devices, such as Broadcast Myself. We've included links to both apps in the video description. In the CoolMic app, you need to enter your server name. The server name is a combination of Airtime Pro's host and port number, separated by a colon, as seen here. Next, enter your Airtime Pro username and password, and then enter your Airtime Pro mount name. You can find all of these details in the Airtime Pro Master Live DJ Connection Details pane, which is on the Streams page of your Airtime Pro station. After you input those details, you'll need to set the audio codec in CoolMic to OGG Vorbis. Finally, you should change the quality level setting in the app. The default is 0.1. Switch this to maximum quality of 1. With the configuration complete, you can start live broadcasting using your mobile phone as a microphone. To begin, tap the Start Live Stream button on the app. As soon as you do this, your Airtime Pro station will switch from Schedule Programming to Live. When the live broadcast is over, all your field reporters need to do is hit the Tap to Stop button and your station will return to its scheduled programming. Now you're ready to take your show on the road. We recently hit the streets of Prague to test the quality and ease of the Cool Mic Airtime Pro integration. Let's take a listen. Everyone, I am Mariah Carpenter. I am an intern here at Source Fabric in Prague, along with being a exchange student. I also run a radio show back in California on Pacific Tiger Broadcasting. So today we are walking through the streets of Prague, look, looking around at all the beautiful Christmas things. And I'm here with Alex. Alex, what do you think about Christmas time in Prague? Hey, hey everyone. This is Alex from Airtime Pro. <laughs> well. 
Uh, well, I can tell you, I can tell to your listeners that it's like a fairy tale here. Like uh, there is a beautiful Christmas tree behind my back, probably like 30 meters tall. That's about 100 feet for your American listeners. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there is boiled wine everywhere and some uh, some odd music. Yeah, but it's super cold. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's that is like true. we are standing here and freaking out, really. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. And there you have it. It's never been easier to broadcast live and on the go with Airtime Pro. To get started with your own internet radio station, head to airtime.pro for a free, no-risk, seven-day trial. I'm Greg from Source Fabric. Thanks for watching.